everyone, I'm Won Lee. Today, I'm going to explain applications of expectation for joint probability distribution. In other words, you have two random variables how to work expectation today. This is the last lecture of chapter 2. I'm moved to chapter 3, sample theory. Okay, so I changed uh, what wallpaper background uh, today. And anyway, let's see what is the application of expectation in case of joint probability distribution. Okay, assume x and y are discrete random variables, and the joint probability this is given as follows, like this in the table. X takes p many values x1 up to xp. Y takes Q many y values, okay? Discrete. Both of them are discrete. Then there exists probability for x1, y1, x1, y2, x1, yq, and xp, yq, okay? And these are marginal probability of x. These are marginal probability of y. We started. Is simple thing. Expectation of AX plus BY is expect, uh, A times expectation of X. It should be written capital letter plus BEY. What is the expectation of X? Actually, it is wrong. It is not correct. This is X. But many uh, statistics textbook are written this way. I found that I was disappointed. Anyway, students cannot understand what is going in the statistics, okay? Confused. That's why I think statistics pretty hard to understand or good, not a good subject, but something like that. So anyway, this is, this notation can never be used in statistics. Covariance xy is definition. Uh, expectation of x what deviation times y deviation. There is a expect definition. Then xy this part, okay, xy uh, minus mu y x minus mu x y plus mu x mu y, right? Then open the parenthesis, then expectation of x, y minus, this one is expectation of y. It is constant, some value. So expectation of y times expectation of x, it's the same thing. This one is expectation x times expectation y. So one is cancelled out, then you can get this result. And we denote it by sigma x, y. Okay? Get it? It is an easy thing for a mathematician, but uh, some people hate uh, mathematics, don't like uh, this kind of a formula. Anyway, they hate formula. But if you understand simple formula, it is more uh, convenient to get some concept and, uh, you know, some flow. Okay, x and y are independent. Covariance of x, y equal to zero. The converse does not hold. So independent, then covariance equal to zero. Covariance equal to zero means what? Correlation coefficient equal to zero, right? So, but the converse does not hold. Covariance ax by, then expectation of ax minus its, its mean times by minus its mean, something like this, right? So, a b covariance xy. A, B, covariance, sigma, X, Y. It is an easy thing. 
variance x plus y is same thing x minus y minus each mean this mean here okay and the squared expectation equal to uh, you arrange inside the parenthesis then e minus x minus e x y minus e y square so open open the this term then you will get this one this one and that one this one square two times cross product plus square of y minus e y then variance x this one is variance x this one is covariance so two covariance x y this one expectation of this one variance of y okay get it and sigma uh, sh you know sh shortly sigma x squared plus sigma y squared plus two covariance x y how about the variance x minus y okay okay same thing here same process then variance x minus 2 minus 2 covariance xy minus 2 covariance xy plus variance y okay if x and y are independent then what covariance out oh, covariance 0 okay x and y are independent covariance it will be zero so variance x plus variance y even x minus y okay variance ax plus by equal to a square variance x plus b square variance y plus 2ab covariance xy you can exercise yourself you you know following the definition of variance if you want okay if you do not want Will be okay okay shortly i show you this i uh, like to emphasize x and y are independent covariance is zero okay and this part many students uh i have experience many students confused with the result of this one they like uh, they think like variance x minus variance y no way okay no way plus variance, variance x plus variance y this one also this one also same result when x and y are independent okay this is the end of uh, chapter two i'm gonna go chapter three sample theory sample theory is most most important in statistics it is not complicated it is not that hard that hard but many students become to be confused from sample theory okay so let's see sample theory next time thank you bye